If you're like me, you like having fun playing games. If you're really like me, you like games that spice things up a bit. Whether that be movements, gameplay mechanics, or simply the theme, you like games that bring something different to the table. Which brings us to a game called Boundary. Boundary is an FPS that's set in space in the near future. A lot of people have compared it to Shattered Horizon. However, I have no clue what that game is and don't have any experience with it. However, it reminds me a lot of the one mission from COD Ghost where you're set in space with zero gravity. So, if you enjoy movement mixed with your gunplay, you may want to hear more. Just a disclaimer, all this information is based off the Steam Next Fest demo that happened maybe two months ago. So, let's get into it. The Steam Next Fest demo had a few game modes that you could try out, but to be honest, I didn't play all of them, but the ones I did play, I had a lot of fun in. Domination sounds familiar from Call of Duty. You capture an area and hold it, and you get points. TDM, kind of self-explanatory, it's team-based 75 kills to win with the respawn. Purge, team-based, best of seven, one life per round. Invasion, you go and capture multiple points, and the more the team that has the more points ends up winning. Naval boarding, they added after the fact, like two weeks after, and essentially you get grapple hooks and shotguns and you're just trying to get kills. It's really, really fun, really movement-based. Next up, let's talk about operators. Boundary has different operators for different play styles. And in the demo, you had Orlin, Leeway, and Spike, but you could see that they had other ones in store. Orlin, he has the AR. He does have some sniper, some SMG stuff, so you could play him faster or slower depending on how you feel, but he's pretty standard, has the most armor. Leeway has a little bit less armor, but he's the sniper, so it's understandable. The snipers are hit really, really hard in this game, so really fun to play. Spike I have the most experience on, and they were the SMG, they are light, they get killed very, very fast, but they also can kill very, very fast. The other operators that were enlisted were Probe, Fort, Doc, and Spider. I don't know exactly what their kits look like, but just to give a guess, Probe looks like Recon, Fort looks like that really heavy, maybe the same stats as Orlin, but using LMG and a bit slower. Doc looks like Healer, I don't know exactly what that entails. And Spider looks very, very similar to Spike as far as SMG. My guess is that they would be more focused on speed, where Spike is more focused on being quiet. But we'll have to find out when the game comes out. I should mention, April 13th, early access opens up for PC only. Console people, I know, I understand. Full release, when that comes, console should be included in that. I'll get you a date as soon as I know, but that's all I know of right now. But real quick, we're going to talk very, very briefly about weapons. I'll have a different video going in detail, but the weapons available are the ARs, the carbines, snipers, DMRs, SMGs, shotguns, pistols, machine pistols. Each class has a little mix of this and a little bit of that. So far, the only things that I see that are like primarily one class is like the AK is specific to Orlin. The shotgun, from the demo at least, was specific to Spike. Um, you had few things that you could flex, um, so like Spike could have a carbine to have longer range gunfights, and Orlin could have a SMG, so different things there. Last but not least is the utility. In this game, there's a little bit different utility due to it being zero gravity. For example, they have a impulse grenade, which essentially is displacement. So in this game, you could be completely zero gravity, but you also could mount to some of the satellites. Impulse grenade comes in real handy when someone's hiding on a satellite sniping, for example. But they have the impulse grenades, which again, displacement. They have the EMP, which shuts your suit down. So if you're flying, you can still shoot, but you're kind of just going all over the place and it can really get you killed in certain situations. They have squid smoke, which self-explanatory, it is smoke. Then they have two different type of sensors. This was mostly on leeway. I don't know exactly how they're different, but I know that the snapshot sensor is a grenade while the motion sensor is placed. So it may be the same thing, but you kind of set up for uh, how you want it. Then HE grenade, which is on Orlin, is the frag grenade. Next up is the hammer versus the knife. Essentially, the knife is the default melee. I don't know if the other two classes have the hammer because I didn't have too much experience because I just really enjoyed Spike. But the hammer essentially is a one melee kill, whereas knife, I believe, is two unless you hit him in the back. Finally, the uh, movement stuff. Everyone has the grapple hook, which is self-explanatory. You get a grapple hook, and I believe it does keep your momentum very similar to like Pathfinder or like Titanfall 2 grapple. There's the maneuver device, which I enjoy. 
Essentially, it gives you a dash in any direction you want, forward, backwards, up, down, left, right. So you can really dance around people, and that's partially the reason why I enjoy playing Spike so much. Get the maneuver device and SMG, and able to essentially dance around enemies, it's just going to be a, a fun time. Anyway, going away from Spike, because you can kind of see my bias. Anyway. Uh, leeway has the break which essentially you keep momentum while you're moving and the break just stops you completely so you could juke out if you're having a sniper battle I haven't had too much experience with that but essentially it keeps you still so that way you can get a clean shot lastly there's afterburner I did have some experience with this it is really really fun essentially on Orland you put this on and instead of going kind of fast like faster than leeway you hit the afterburner and it is like nitrous. You just fly off and you can really do some damage. But compared to the uh, maneuver device, which has a shorter cooldown and has charges, the afterburner has one charge and it's like a 15, no, it's like a 10 second cooldown. You have to use it kind of sparingly, but that's all the utility and movement. Um, I'm sure they'll have more in the full release, but I don't know. So should you get this game? Like I said above, movement and gunplay, if you enjoy, you may enjoy this and want to look into it. I will say this though, there is a price point to get in, it's about $25, and that's only for early access. I don't know about full release, if it's going to go free to play, game pass, whatever their plan is, but I know, for me, it's justifiable. Um, I've been playing and enjoying it, I'm going to continue to play and enjoy it, and if you guys feel skeptical about it, feel free to subscribe, I'm going to upload a ton of content about it, so that way you can see what it's like and decide if the 25 bucks to get in is worth it i understand not everyone um wants to do that off of a game that's different because it may not work out in the long run so feel free to stick around subscribe and everything to see more content from it if you are really interested in it that being said that is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit the like button leave a comment down below what you're hype about what you enjoyed about it um, this is my first video, so if you guys want to leave feedback as well about my contents or how everything was, let me know. i um, just trying to make better content, better videos, so that way you guys can enjoy it. But that is the end. I will catch you guys on the next one.